Now I've gone through a bunch of different camera bags and different laptop bags and just equipment bags in general. And I've never been able to find one that fits me perfectly and for all my equipment needs. Enter in the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. This backpack has been absolutely fantastic. Not only is it super stylish, it also gives me enough room and enough utility that I can fit all the equipment I need to bring with me on a daily basis and still have room for some extras. I have the 20 liter version of the everyday backpack, but there's also a 30 liter version of this backpack if you need a little bit extra space for some extra equipment you wanna throw in there. I picked up the ash color. There's also a charcoal version. I think the ash color looks way more stylish, way more sleek and modern. The charcoal looks cool, but then it just, I feel like a lot of people have the dark colored backpack, so it doesn't really stand out at all. The ash color version actually has these nice leather accents. I'm not sure if it's genuine leather, uh, but it feels nice. So whatever, it doesn't matter to me if it's genuine or not, it feels like leather and it looks cool. Now to start the 20 liter version will fit up to a 15 inch laptop. I have a 15 inch 2016 MacBook Pro. It fits in here beautifully. It does fit a little bit snug sometimes, especially when I have all my camera equipment and my Nintendo Switch and things in there especially because I have a hard shell case around my laptop so it's a bit tough to get it in and out it fits perfectly fine it's just a bit snug so I may switch over to a skin and get rid of the hard shell case eventually but sticking with that back laptop compartment there is actually a dedicated tablet sleeve so you can fit your iPad Pro 10.5 inch in there personally I just keep my Nintendo switch in there without the joy cons attached and then there's also a shallow pocket for extra accessories I have my charger and headphones in there along with a few dongles for my MacBook Pro now before we dive into the main compartment of this backpack let's go over the exterior a bit more on both sides of the backpack there's actually these pockets with a glass plastic bands to keep them nice and compressed when they're not in use but when you do want to use them they can stretch out easily and fit things like a water bottle you can actually put one of your tripod legs in it and then tie it down using these black straps that are located inside these pockets and these black straps can be attached to these black loops that are located all around the backpack so you can tie things down like a tripod a drone whatever you need there's actually a hidden compartment at the very bottom of the backpack that actually has extra black straps so you can attach things to the very bottom of the backpack so if you need to carry things that are a bit too bulky to fit inside the bag you can easily carry them outside of the bag just using these straps to tie them down. The outside of the bag is also water resistant. So if you're caught in the rain, don't worry. All your equipment, all your gear is gonna be perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's not gonna get inside of the bag. Now jumping into the main compartment of the bag, it actually can be accessed from either the left side, the right side, or the very top. You have three access points to get into the center. And once you get into the center, it's basically just a big empty hole. You do have these removable trifold shells inside the bag and you can rearrange these however you want to. I just kind of left them at the default how they came with the bag. They just left them as three shelves. And this is perfect for carrying camera equipment, but you can also fill in whatever other gear you need. If you're carrying a lot of random crap for hiking, you can fit that in there. And if you just need a big empty space to fit a bunch of random crap in, you can take all the shelves out and just have that big empty void. What's really cool about the top opening to the main compartment is it has a magnetic latch system. And to open the top access point of the bag, you actually have to pull down and away on these magnetic latches. And it's kind of really satisfying to use. Actually, it's really intuitive, but it may not be the most secure thing ever. It's really easy to open. So if you're out just traveling somewhere, someone could probably potentially access the inside of your bag and take some stuff. But when you're done rummaging through the bag, you can actually just flip the lid down and the magnets will pull it back together and shut. Oh, and there's also a little compartment inside the main flag that you actually can fit your passport and some other random documents that you need to keep secure. It's pretty cool. Even if someone did manage to access the inside of your bag from the top flap, they wouldn't notice this immediately. So you're kind of safe there. But back to the side panels, both side panels actually have their own assortment of pockets to choose from. And both panels actually hide these pockets behind zippers. So even if you fill up all the pockets, you can actually throw some extra stuff in there. It will be like flopping around everywhere, but it's going to be secure. and It's not going to fall out of your bag if you open it up. And yes, it is an everyday backpack and you can use it for whatever you want. It still was designed for photographers and video audio so the pockets inside the panels are kind of arranged and labeled for photographers and videographers in mind so you have these really tiny pockets that are meant to fit batteries for your cameras and you have these different color coordinated threads on some of the pockets to let you know if you have a battery in that pocket it's a dead battery or you can just completely ignore these and just put whatever the hell you want in there like I did another cool thing about the side panels is you actually get to unzip them from whichever side you want so either top or bottom it can be unzipped either way and zip back up either way as well and you can also undo the zipper handle loop and attach that to one of the black loops you find around your bag to keep it more secure so if you're not gonna open it anytime soon when you're traveling no one can easily just unzip your bag while you're not paying attention now you have a few different options for carrying the bag there are three different handles one on the top and two on the sides you also have 
have the dedicated backpack straps and these straps are pretty comfortable they're not the most comfortable backpack straps i've ever used they are they aren't the most padded either it's pretty thin straps but it's not like so they just strings tugging into your body they're pretty good i like them they they feel nice they feel solid too like they don't bend too easily which is i, I kind of like i prefer that so they don't feel flimsy it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip easily as well they also have these swiveling arm in the back i'll show you that right now it's a swiveling arm to let you kind of like let the backpack form to your body a bit better so it's more comfortable to wear and if you don't have the backpack fully filled and maxed out it's not that heavy at all it's not really a problem at all so if i just had my camera equipment and my nintendo switch in here it's not not an issue if i had my laptop here with all my camera equipment and my nintendo switch it's a bit heavy it's a bit dumb too much and it kind of weighs me down but that's gonna be the case with any backpack you also have a chest strap that you can attach across your chest to relieve some of the tension from your shoulders and there's also a waist strap as well i like the back padding on the backpack as well it has these ridges in it so it's a bit more comfortable and it lets a bit more air in so you're not just sweating all the time and actually can be pulled off of the back to allow you to slip this onto a rolling suitcase or whatever you need so all in all i think this is a really great everyday backpack but i don't think it's the perfect everyday backpack for photographers and videographers that has all the compartments and all the storage that you could possibly need but it doesn't give you all the access so it is kind of annoying to have to flip from side to side to access a lens or maybe just take out my charger for my camera or my phone or my laptop whatever it is you see a lot of camera bags that just give you a giant opening to access all the equipment in your bag at once and while that isn't the most sexy way to do it it's not the nicest looking it is functional extremely functional because you can easily just get any piece of equipment you need without having to switch your bag around a bunch of times just to find that one piece of equipment you're looking for as just a general laptop bag it's actually pretty great i love that back laptop compartment most of the time i'm just messing around with that to do my video editing i just take my laptop out get my charger get my headphones and i'm good to go and if you're going to use this bag for just general travel purposes i think once you take out all the shelves in there and you just use the main flap and never really use the side panels it should be perfect it should function just like every other backpack out there but i will say this bag is extremely pricey so if you're on a tight budget maybe look elsewhere this bag comes in about 260 dollars for the 21 liter version i think the 31 liter version is like 280 290 bucks i don't know if you are a student though i will say go to bnhphoto.com you can pick up this bag for 230 bucks like i did if you sign up for their bnh student account and it's really easy to sign up you just have to provide a student email address it's not much of an issue if you are a student but if you are a photographer if you are a videographer or if you're just a gadget lover in general this bag is pretty awesome it's extremely stylish that's why i love it i really want to pick it up i didn't want to get just some generic camera or equipment bag out there because they all look kind of ugly for the most part there are some high-end brands but they don't offer a lot of functionality or a lot of comfort which this bag i think definitely does so that's my review let me know what you think of this bag if you have it or if you're thinking about picking it up let me know what you're looking forward to using it with and feel free to subscribe if you like the video i'd appreciate it that'd be awesome um i'd i'd be really happy about that that'd make my day so that's cool you can do that today but as always my name is joshua jomios stay sexy and i'll see you sometime Oh,